Hello, YouTube and the internet and whatnot, etc. It's me, and I'm going to do another first listen for the first time. I'm going to listen to an album that I've never heard of um, by a band, actually, that I've also never heard of. Um, this one was suggested to me by a fan. No, somebody... Um, uh, a, a young fella by the name of Daniel Griffin suggested that I should listen to this because um, he loves this record and at the same time that this was out he also loved another record by a band called The Brand New that I did a first listen to three years or so ago and because they meant both of these albums at the same time meant so much to him he figured if I like The Brand New I might like this one also so thanks to Daniel Griffin for submitting this request this band is uh, an American band, they're from Athens, Georgia. Like I said, I've never heard of them before, but they've been on the go since around about 2006, 2007 at least, this album came out. Um, and they had an album as recently as 2019, I think. So they're still on the go, still have a fan base, still making music. So can't be that bad, can they? Um, their name really throws you off because... Um, it's just they're, because they're called Manchester Orchestra and they're not from Manchester not even from the Manchester in America um, and they're not an orchestra like electric light orchestra except they were anyway so they're not from Manchester they're not an orchestra but they are called Manchester Orchestra and this LP is their debut called I'm Like a Virgin Losing a Child. Like a virgin. Woo! Yeah, so. Um, I'll put on me old headphone warnings. I've got the song, the album, all queued up on Spotify and whatnot. I'm going to have a, one of these. Not because Dan suggested the record or anything. Dan's Irish, by the way. Um, just because it's what I've got in the fridge. <laughs> so without further ado, as they like to say on YouTube, cheers! Wow. <clears throat> well, I, I understand why, uh, why Dan thought I would like that because I enjoyed the brand new because there's, there's a lot of similarities, I think. Uh, the singer, or the, at least the lyricist in the band, Andy Ho. Man, he must have had a hell of a life already. There's, there's really a lot, of, uh, a lot of pain in that record. There's a lot of pain, both emotional and psychological. And it's quite... I don't know, it's quite a mature record. I really like some of the lyrics. Uh, yeah, your skin gets better with age. <laughs> Great lyric. Uh, where's the other one I said? I'm digesting your legs. <laughs> but there's one of the songs, Sleep on 1972, uh, musically and lyrically, it was just... For me, um, it really hit home a little bit. But the, the opening line is, when my dad died, the worms ate out both his eyes. I think that speaks a lot about where somebody is uh, mentally and emotionally, again, about about when somebody important passes and, and the, the reality of what it means to them. It's like, you just... He's just dead. He's not here anymore. Anyway, um, I, I, uh, I like the album. It, it starts off really, really strong. And I think the opening song, which is called uh, Wolves at Night, Wolves at Night, is a really strong opener, but it, it defies the rest of the album, I think. There's not a lot of the rest of the album that even sounds like that. And I was expecting a lot more of things like that to pop up. Like after the first really slow song, um, I Can Feel Your Pain. After the first really slow song, I Can Feel Your Pain, 
that was so somber and down that I expected this big poof to come back and hit you and bring the album all the way back up again. But it, it didn't, it didn't. It, this, the next song is Where Have You Been, which starts off kind of slowish and it does build up. And I think I, I like that about the album as well. A lot of the songs built different layers and got stronger and louder and bigger as the, as the album went on. Um, and it didn't, it didn't, it has, it has a thread all the way through it, which is that kind of uh, sadness and loss going all the way through it. But the music doesn't really give you that picture as well, which I really enjoyed. There's that dichotomy of the two things pulling at each other. I thought it was a great record. Um, yeah, I thought it was a great record. I really enjoyed it. I would, the, the only thing that I didn't like, if I have any kind of real criticism for it, is that his voice... Uh, a lot of the times reminded me of um, Brian Maloko from Placebo sometimes, um, which isn't a bad thing. I enjoyed Placebo. I think the first two and a half albums were brilliant. Um, so, yeah, I enjoyed that a lot, the Madrid Orchestra. Um, what's the album called again? Can't remember. Um, I'm Like a Virgin Losing a Child. How can I forget that title? I enjoyed that a lot. I would definitely check out some more of their stuff to see how they have actually progressed or if he's spiraled out of control and became some kind of a lunatic who knows um but no i enjoyed that a lot it isn't punk pop it isn't power pop i think for a debut album of a bunch of kids in their early 20s i think it's quite mature sounding um nothing groundbreaking mind you know there's nothing that's that i haven't really heard before somewhere else but that doesn't mean to say that it wasn't good or that i didn't enjoy it because i did i would give um, I'm Like a Virgin Losing a Child by the Manchester Orchestra. Four solid dickheads out of five. So thanks, Dan, for the recommendation. Um, if you would like me to hear for the first time an album, then please drop me a message somehow, somewhere. And let me know what you think I should listen to and maybe I will. Thanks a lot. Bye.